around the development of new coil systems I want to use within my activated space I currently have around here in my environment. The coils I'm going to build are in the cone form as you can see here and this cone form will be plated or formed around with matte glass to increase the electromagnetic feed uh, strengths as you can see in here. So that will be put around here a couple of layers to increase electromagnetic field. The cone itself, when it's when the coil is built on, on, on top of it, is technically a 3D version of a pancake coil. So if you collapse this form down to uh, the second dimension, you literally stagger the windings on top of each other. However, the, the flat pancake coil has a limited space based on the radius of the circle here on the bottom, whereas the cone does not have this limitation. So the longer the coil, the more coil can be built on top of each other and the more windings you have. Another benefit of the cone coil is that we have here very focused uh, the high voltage up here <clears throat> starting with a lower voltage on the bottom. That means the distance between the coils is, is larger, reduces the capacitance and does not um, suffer from the problems of sparking over between the different coil um, windings if you want. Here you see one I used uh, in other experiments already where I put the MAC class on top of it. So this course, the coils will be centered around a, um, a reactor, um, container reactor device I will have in a focus point which will contain either gas or various other materials for investigation uh, uh, either for energy fluctuation or energy uh, changes within these fields, which are going to measure, or we're going to use it for changes in material characteristics within this field. So that will be built and there will be an array of different coils, all with the same ratio of windings and all connected to the same circuit um, and focused then on this reactor will be built and I will provide you with an update for my members then on my website and I will announce once that is done. And I hope I can share that to you in um, some time in the future. Thank you.